NASA's James Webb Space Telescope has hardly opened its eyes, and the universe is now more mysterious, more beautiful than humanity's dreams. Biden introduced the first image to be shown publicly from the James Webb Telescope. Since telescopes can gather more light than the human eye can see, they have improved our ability to see the stars. Numerous pieces of equipment have been developed throughout the years to further our understanding of space, but none have achieved the kind of advancements that the James Webb Telescope has. It has been demonstrated that this telescope can travel back in time to the universe beginning. Everything changes now that we have the official clearest photograph of the City of Lights ever seen. 18 different images, one for each mirror, are what we anticipate. Come discuss this astounding new finding from the James Webb Telescope and its potential implications for the future. This is no typical telescope. This masterpiece of human invention is the biggest and most potent space telescope ever constructed, and its goal is to transform our knowledge of the universe. Scientists are able to travel back in time to a moment when the cosmos was just 200 million years old, thanks to the state-of-the-art equipment of the JWST. We shall be able to turn back time in the universe with the help of this invention's information. In addition, the telescope can take pictures of some of the oldest galaxies that ever existed, displaying the first stars in the universe, gleaming in the pitch black cosmos. NASA declared that the James Webb Space Telescope would study for primary topics when it launched the first light in the universe, the formation of galaxies in the early universe, the emergence of stars and protoplanetary systems, and planets, including the origins of life. These goals have been difficult to achieve because of the challenges in getting clear views of space, yet being essential for the study of space. As a result, it has been crucial to figure out how to collect as much information as possible and then use the best brains to evaluate the data. Critical science and calibration tests were conducted on the telescope. Prior to it starting its astronomical observations, the sun shield, a sizable five-layered fabric, that shields the telescope's delicate instruments from the sun's heat and light, was deployed during one of the most significant tests to guarantee that every layer was correctly tensioned and aligned. This deployment needed to be carried out precisely. Any misalignment or damage to the sun shield could make it difficult for the telescope to see far-off objects. Fortunately, it passed this test and advanced to the subsequent one. The telescope itself needed to be deployed next to provide a sharp image. The 18 hexagonal segments that make up the JWST's primary mirror must be precisely aligned. This procedure comprised slowly deploying the primary mirror, extending the telescopic support structure, and unfolding the sun shield. The mirror needed to be precisely aligned for scientific observations after it was fully deployed. Even the smallest error would be equivalent to throwing away more than $1 billion. To make sure all of the telescope's scientific instruments were operating properly, another crucial calibration test entailed turning each one on individually. These instruments, which have different capacities for studying the cosmos, are the mid-infrared instrument, the near-infrared spectrograph, and the near-infrared camera. Lastly, the telescope needed to be accurately positioned in space to view its target objects. To make sure the telescope's pointing and tracking systems were aimed at the right targets, this procedure, known as commissioning, required monitoring calibration targets to ensure the JWST was in good operating order and prepared to start its mission of exploring the universe. All of these tests were essential. The scientific community was growing increasingly excited as these intricate operations were carried out successfully. The JWST was passing every test with flying colors which was incredible. The JWST project involves almost 300 colleges, organizations, and businesses from 14 nations, as well as 29 U.S. states, making it a truly global endeavor. After passing every test that NASA could throw at it, the James Webb Space Telescope was officially cleared to start its amazing scientific mission. In July of 2022, NASA said that the JWST was prepared to begin its exploration mission after all. 17 of the observatory's scientific instrument modes had undergone thorough testing. The main function of the JWST, like any other telescope, is to gather light and focus it so that we can see distant objects. Nevertheless, the region of the electromagnetic spectrum that the JWST views indistinguishes it from other telescopes. 
The JWST sees in what is similar to the heat producing infrared spectrum, whereas human eyes only detect visible light. Consider it the cosmos equivalent of a high tech surveillance camera with night vision. Smaller and farther off objects can be seen thanks to the JWST's ability to gather even more light than conventional telescopes do to its vast size. Furthermore, because it is in space, it is not affected by atmospheric interference, which can obscure important data, giving it the moniker Eyes on the Universe. The enormous 21 foot mirror on the JWST collects light and reflects it back to the spacecraft's instruments. It features four devices, each made to catch a distinct kind of light and offer a distinctive perspective on the cosmos. The primary camera, the near infrared camera, is used to take breathtaking pictures of far off galaxies, nebulae, and other celestial wonders. By dissecting light into its individual colors, the near infrared spectrograph can provide additional details about the object it is studying with the purpose of capturing infrared light. The mid-infrared instrument aims to investigate the early cosmos, exoplanets, and our own solar system. Lastly, the near-infrared light-sensitive fine guidance sensor, near-infrared imager, and slitless spectrograph are used for precise pointing. Because infrared radiation has longer wavelengths than visible light and can disclose information that will otherwise remain concealed, NASA decided to use it with the JWST. The majority of infrared light that reaches Earth is blocked by our atmosphere and must be seen with a specialized telescope like the JWST. Light from the furthest reaches of space shifts toward the red end of the spectrum as the universe expands. We may peek into the early universe and observe the development of stars and galaxies, as well as learn about the circumstances that prevail at that time by viewing the universe in this red-shifted light. Because the JWST can look so far into the cosmos, it can view back in time as well. When the JWST observes a distant galaxy, it perceives the galaxy as it did billions of years ago, when the galaxy's initial light was released. This makes it possible for scientists to investigate the early cosmos and discover the mechanisms that gave rise to the modern universe. On July 12, 2022, during a live event, NASA unveiled the first science photographs from the JWST, stunning views of the cosmos, such as the cosmic cliffs in the Southern Ring Nebula and the Taurina Nebula were captured in these photos. A glimpse of Stefan's Quintet, a group of merging galaxies, and an examination of the heart gas giant exoplanet at Washington SB96BS's atmosphere composition were also made possible by the JWST because of their beauty and scientific significance. These photos generated a great deal of excitement and enthusiasm. The examination of the atmosphere of Washington SB96 BS provided insights into the mechanisms guiding the birth and evolution of exoplanets, while the JWST's view of Stefan's quintet yielded fresh information about the interactions within the galaxy. The first JWST science quality image was unveiled on July 11, 2022 by NASA Administrator Bill Nelson, Vice President Kamala Harris, and President Joe Biden, using just 12, five hours of viewing time on one of the telescopes for instruments. This image represents the deepest infrared view of the universe to date. NASA declared in February 2022 that the JWST had taken its first pictures of stars. The star HD 8446 was represented by a mosaic of 18 dispersed brilliant spots. Thomas Zerbican, NASA's Associate Administrator for the Science Mission Directorate, stated on Twitter that these 18 dots will eventually merge into a single star when Webb aligns and focuses. This significant achievement illustrated the telescope's capacity and possibilities for future research. In the ensuing weeks, Webb's advancement persisted. NASA unveiled an enhanced and fresh photograph of HD 8446 on February 18. The observatory purposefully arranged the 18 unfocused copies of the star into a hexagonal shape to provide a better representation of the final image after the various parts of the primary mirror were correctly aligned. Scientists were able to obtain a clearer, more detailed picture of the star as a result of superimposing 18 photos over one another using a specialized camera built inside the Newcomb device for alignment and technical purposes. Webb also captured a unique selfie, 
since just one mirror segment was successfully aligned and aimed at a star at that particular moment, the image revealed that section to be blazing brighter than the others. One by one, the remaining mirror segments were all correctly aligned, demonstrating the remarkable accuracy and precision of the telescope. Peering deeper into the Eagle Nebula, with its enormous columns of gas and dust reaching into space was one of the telescope's greatest discoveries. Although it was able to capture the structure's magnificence, the Hubble Space Telescope was unable to reveal their secrets. The pillars of creation in the Eagle Nebula are home to hidden creation that has been revealed by the James Webb Space Telescope's infrared imagery. Webb's most recent snapshot revealed a large number of protostars as tiny red dots on the pillar's murky background. Stars are born in these vast agglomerations of gas and dust, each many times larger than our solar system. These young stars are not yet consuming hydrogen. According to Derek Ward Thompson, Dean of the University of Central Lancashire in the United Kingdom, but they will soon become stars that create energy. These stars are illuminating the world and are incredibly crucial to the cosmos. The huge clouds, like the pillars of creation, will be eventually destroyed by stellar winds from newly formed stars. For at least another 100,000 years, the universe will be able to observe these magnificent gas structures thanks to these stars' creation of the next generation of stars. Despite the pillars of creation being about 7,000 light years away, they continue to reveal so much more about the universe. We might be able to answer some of the most important questions about our planet with the assistance of the James Webb Space Telescope, and we might eventually find the answer to the question, are we alone? Because it opens up new horizons in our investigation of the cosmos, and because of its immense promise for upcoming discoveries, the James Webb Space Telescope is an important milestone in the history of astronomy. Because of its outstanding capabilities, astronomers are optimistic about the possibility of significant new discoveries that will fundamentally alter our knowledge of the cosmos. The JWST will continue to be crucial to contemporary astronomy in the years to come and will probably produce even more incredible findings that will change our understanding of the cosmos.